Right at the flag. Damn, you might capture a hole in one right here. Are you having trouble hitting your wedges close enough to the hole? Is your shot dispersion too wide? Well, I think I might know the reason why, because I see it all the time with my students and I'm constantly having to remind them. So let's jump into this video and let me tell you why. Well, if you haven't noticed, I'm not at Azalea City. I'm down on Dauphin Island, Alabama, which is the barrier island for Alabama's Gulf Coast. And I'm here at Isle Dauphine Golf Course out on the, fifth, the 18th hole, excuse me, which is a par five. I've stopped myself short, probably about 90 yards into the green. And I just thought this would be a great place to do this video. Cause what a backdrop, huh? Looking out at the Gulf of Mexico. If you can see those sand dunes out there, that sand island, awesome. All right. So the problem that I see with all of my students is they're all making a golf swing that's way too big with their wedges. They stand there and they got their wedge in their hand and it looks like they're trying to hit a driver. They've got their feet wide, they're in there, they're making big swings and they're going real fast. And it's almost like they're trying to see how far they can hit their wedges as opposed to how close to the hole you have to hit your wedges. And trust me, with wedges in our hands, distance doesn't matter. We want proximity to the hole. So there's a different speed of swing that you have to use when you're doing your wedges, okay? And I like to refer to it probably as somewhere in that three quarter speed, 75% speed from your full swing with a seven iron or a six iron. If you back off at that speed to about three quarters, you're probably then swinging at your wedges a lot at the proper speed. Okay. So I'm about 90 yards away. I've got my 52 degree wedge, okay? Wind's blowing out to the Gulf a little bit. And all I'm trying to do here is just make a very nice smooth swing because I want this ball to end up close to the hole. Okay, so let's see how I can do. Well, it is right at it if it's the right distance. Okay, so that first one I hit a little bit too hard. I didn't realize that the wind wasn't gonna affect it quite that much, but it was hit super solid right on line. But I hope you saw the speed that I went there and the effort level that I used was very low, very little. Now, the reality is, is that I could probably hit my 56 degree wedge from here, but I would have to swing real hard. And if I swing real hard with that wedge, I'm just not controlling my golf ball as much. So let me see if I can hit one more. Same thing, 52 degree wedge. Take a little bit off of this one. See if I can hit a good one. Okay, that was in the middle of the green. Wind did get that one. All right, let's go up to the green and we'll wrap this up. Okay, so the first shot that I hit flew right over top of the flag. I thought it was gonna be good and it landed right back there on the back of the green and just rolled off the back. I've got it in my pocket already. But the second ball ended up right over here and I am 25, 30 feet. Now for me, I'm not that happy with 25 or 30 feet with a wedge in my hand, but you have to go according to your skill level. And for the majority of golfers out there, that would be a great shot. So if you wanna start hitting your wedges closer to the hole, give this a try. Go out there and back off your speed, back off your effort level. Use a little more club if you think you need to. Figure out the distance that you can hit those wedges at a very controlled, comfortable speed, and you'll see your golf balls start getting closer to the hole. And hey, when they get closer to the hole, got a chance to make a birdie every now and then, your score is gonna drop. Well, listen, I wanna thank you so much for coming in and watching this video. Um, you might wonder why I'm down here at Dolphin Island. I was down here actually practicing filming uh, for the big trip that's coming up at the end of April. Again, I can't tell you where I'm going. That's coming soon. But my videographer that is learning how to video out on a golf course, she's back there manning the camera. And 
we're out here just testing things. So I thought I'd do a video down here because what a backdrop. This is a little prettier than the driving range at Azalea City. But listen, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I do appreciate you coming in and watching. If you're new to my channel, you might want to hit that subscribe button because what I do on this channel is I just give you good solid golf information that's out there to help your game and make you shoot lower scores. And like I said, I'm going to be adding some travel components to this channel. That's always been my dream to have some travel component to it. And you're going to love where I'm going. So thank you so much. And I will check y'all out in the next video. Bye y'all.